My name is Hannah and I'm a teacher from Twinkle. Thanks for joining me for daily reading. In this video we're going to be reading a poem from the Twinkle Poetry Collection called Questions for Reflection. I'm going to be asking you some questions throughout the video, so if you'd like to write your answers down you'll need a piece of paper, or click on the link in the description below to download the activity sheet. You can type straight onto that activity sheet or you could print it out. Let's get reading. Questions for reflection. I look at my reflection as it gazes back at me, but where does my reflection go when I'm not there to see? I turn around to walk away, does it just watch me go? Unless I catch it in the act, I guess I'll never know. I wonder if it pulls a face and laughs behind my back, or sits and puts its feet up with a cheeky little snap. Perhaps it throws a party as a very special treat and invites all its reflection friends from mirrors down our street. My reflection must get very bored copying what I do. If I was a reflection, I would do some fun stuff too, like playing on a trumpet while performing circus tricks or ballerina twirling or karate chops and kicks. I'd love to pay a visit to the mirror world inside to meet with my reflection and to find out where it hides. I wonder if the music there is played from end to start, or if words are written backwards so that trams are really smart. Does my reflection look at me and wonder these things too? Do I look back to front in all the funny things I do? I've tried to ask these questions, but the problem seems to be that it never gives an answer. It just says the same as me. Let's look a little closer at this poem. Today we're going to try out some questions together to see whether we can find things in the poem. First, I'm going to read verse 1 again for you. While I'm reading, I'd like you to look for a question that the poet would like to ask their reflection. I look at my reflection as it gazes back at me, but where does my reflection go when I'm not there to see? I turn around to walk away. Does it just watch me go? Unless I catch it in the act, I guess I'll never know. So, for question one, write down a question that the poet would like to ask their reflection. Pause the video to write down your answer. Well done. In verse one, there are two questions. The poet wants to know, where does my reflection go when I'm not there to see? And, does it just watch me go? Next, I'm going to reread verses 2 and 3 before asking you another question. I wonder if it pulls a face and laughs behind my back, or sits and puts its feet up with a cheeky little snap. Perhaps it throws a party as a very special treat and invites all its reflection friends from mirrors down our street. My reflection must get very bored copying what I do. If I was a reflection, I would do some fun stuff too like playing on a trumpet while performing circus tricks, or ballerina twirling, or karate chops and kicks. So, were you listening carefully? For question two, I'd like to know, why does the poet feel sorry for their reflection? Look at verses two and three, and then write down your answer. Well done. The poet feels sorry for their reflection because my reflection must get very bored. The poet says that if they were a reflection, they would do some fun things too, like performing circus tricks. Now I'm going to reread verse 4. Listen carefully. I'd love to pay a visit to the mirror world inside, to meet with my reflection and to find out where it hides. I wonder if the music there is played from end to start, or if words are written backwards so that trams are really smart. Okay, for question three, I'd like you to look at the last line of verse four. Why does the poet think that in the mirror world, trams would be smart? Write down what you think. Well done. This line says that words are written backwards. So if you write the word trams backwards, you'll get smart. The poet says that in the mirror world, trams would be smart. 
the poet is playing with words to make the reader smile. Let's finish off by rereading the rest of the poem. Does my reflection look at me and wonder these things too? Do I look back to front in all the funny things I do? I've tried to ask these questions, but the problem seems to be that it never gives an answer. It just says the same as me. There are more questions and activities that you can do after watching the video. Just click the link in the description below to download the activity pack. You'll find all the answers to my questions in there too. Join me next time where we'll be reading some haikus about the environment. See you then!